Hello everyone, this is again Zahida Niaz Khan from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering. We have finished discussing the syllabus of Costing and Finance Management. Let me take you to the first unit which is basically Introduction to Costing and Finance Management. I have divided this particular course into three different topics or three main topics which includes to introduce to the fundamentals of costing environment, to understand the concept of cost and to understand the fundamentals of cost estimation. We will be starting with the first topic today which is introduction to the fundamentals of costing environment. Let us start with what do you mean by flow in an economy. We have a circular flow model which shows how money flows through the society. If we understand money flows from the producers to the workers in the form of salaries and it flows back to the producers as a payment for the products. So in short, an economy is an endless circular flow of money. For that reason, this model is also referred to as the circular flow of income model. The circular flow model starts with the household sector which is involved into consumption spending and the business sector which is involved into the production of goods and services. Apart from this, we also have two different entities which needs to be added, one of which is the government sector and the other is export trade business. The government also keeps on injecting money into the economy through various uh, schemes offered by the government which include some security schemes as well as national parks administration schemes. Various businesses also offer export businesses because of which the money from the foreign countries keeps on flowing into the economy. Also businesses keep on investing into the economy by buying of certain capital stocks from the market. So all of these are the various sources of money that keeps on flowing into the economy. Now if we observe the circular flow model, we have individuals at one end which offer labor to the various businesses. And these businesses in turn offer goods and services to the individuals which is depicted by the green lines into the circular flow model. Now, the businesses or the organizations, they compensate the individuals for their labor in the form of certain income or salaries. The income source which is received by these individuals or the salaries which are received by these individuals from the businesses are again spent by these individuals in the buying of the goods and services which are produced by these businesses. So if we see this particular circular flow model, it shows a interdependence of the spending of money by the individuals and the businesses on each other. Based on the circular flow economy model, let us now study the law of supply and demand. The law of supply and demand is a theory which explains the interaction between the sellers of a resource and the buyers for that particular resource. Now, it is a very usual thing that whenever the prices of a particular product are at the higher end or the prices of a product are higher, the buyers will try to restrict themselves from buying of that product. But the manufacturer on the other end will be very keen to manufacture a large amount of that product. So this is nothing but the law of supply and demand. So the law of demand says that whenever the prices of the products are higher, buyers will demand less of an economic good. But on the same hand, when the prices are higher, the law of supply says that the sellers will try to supply more of an economic good. So these two laws interact to determine the actual market prices and the volume of goods that are traded on a market. So now that we are done with the first topic of the fundamentals of costing environment, let us have a reflection spot 
so what do you think is the most affected parameter because of the law of supply and demand